Welcome to historic Thunderbolt Lanes in Allen Park, the setting for this year's exciting Bowling Showcase Youth Challenge. I'm your host, Mark Martin, and I want to thank you for joining us as we kick off first round action. And sitting here with me for all of this year's youth action is Thunderbolt Lanes General Manager, Vicki Ingham. Welcome, Vicki. Want to also welcome all of you at home watching on our new station, Detroit 50, and are glad you've decided to spend your mornings with Bowling Showcase. Now we're so excited to highlight a future for the sport. The youth bowlers are back. Now over the course of the challenge, you'll be watching eight hand-picked youth teams representing various bowling centers and groups going head-to-head -head in single-game Baker elimination matches. Now we start this year's competition with eight teams. Century Bowl, Cherry Hill Lanes North, Mary Bowl, Perfect Game, Plum Hollow Lanes, Shelby Lanes, Thunder Bowl Lanes, and Woodland Lanes. And at the end of our first round matches, the four winning teams will move on to the semifinal round and then the final championship match. We start with eight teams, but there can only be one Bowling Showcase Youth Championship winner. So let's take a look at today's first round match. Our second first round match features Woodland Lanes facing off against the host team, Thunderbolt Lanes. Woodland Lanes comes into the competition strong and determined to make it all the way back to hosting the Youth Championship Trophy. And home team Thunderbolt Lanes, bringing their own high powered team, wants to keep the championship trophy right here at Thunderbolt. It's a battle of bowling prowess, but only one team makes it to the next round. So there you have it. And once again, we're honored to have Vicki and MDUSBC Association Manager Phil Goodman joining me to help bring you all the action. The teams are all set, the lanes are dressed, and the crowd is ready to cheer. So stick around, we'll be right back with the start of this year's first round action next on Bowling Showcase. you need your lawsuit won and done, call 1-800-LAWYERS. Auto injuries, slip and fall, social security disability, call 1-800-LAWYERS. Zamler, Schiffman and Carfus. Don't let your case go in the gutter. Metro Detroit USBC, your source for everything bowling in the bowling capital of the world. We are the largest affiliate of the United States Bowling Congress with over 30,000 members of all ages. We support USBC certified league competition and organize USBC certified tournament competition. We provide 18 tournaments for all members of our association, including men, women, youth, seniors, scratch and handicap competition. The top reasons for belonging to the Metro Detroit USBC are having your average recognized, bonding of league funds, rules of the game, assistance in resolving league issues, equipment standards of the game, charities, and awards. Visit us at mdusbc.com. What a welcome back. Two teams putting on the big cheer. We're gonna have a great match today. Uh, Woodland, champion in the past, and a host Thunderbolt Lanes team. What do you think, Vicky? Well, Thunderbolt Lanes team is new for us with the with the youth challenge, but there's some pretty good bowlers on there. Woodland's a little more seasoned maybe together, but I think we're gonna see another good match this week. Good, we're looking forward to it. First up for Woodland. Maddie Guzzarini. Maddie was third at the state finals for singles in 2022. That's, nice. a, that's a pretty good accolade. She's gonna throw the ball very nice. Oh! Great shot, kicks out that seven on that light shot. A little, a little late on that uh, fall, but team got excited and she's putting them on a good path for the start. Courtney Downham now. Courtney's been bowling about six years. She's at Cabrini High School. She's also on the Cabrini team. 
Like their home house is here, This right? is a home house for them. That's how I met her. Here's the one three. She's a she's she's a, a a new high school bowler, I guess, if you want to say, because she's in tenth grade. Okay. So, but uh, Cabrini also has a middle school uh, program okay. as well. So they're going to have a new coach this year. So I haven't met them yet, but okay. Looks good. Well, Courtney has an unusual. Delivery, she's a backup delivery. We haven't seen that at all in all our years on, on bowling showcase. Goes up that left side, which isn't as... Uh, yeah, isn't used as much. She's sighing a little relief after her first turn there. Yeah. Doug McLeod, Doug been bowling for 13 years, average of 210. Doug throws the ball very nice. He's got a high series of 7 11. Oh, leaves the four pin. Good shot. Good you shot. Know, you know, a really, really good shot. It came off his hand really nice and just barely at the end there, a little bit high to leave him that four pin. Should be an easy cover for him, though. So, like many other young people his age, he likes gaming. We've seen that a couple of times on, on the resumes. Sign of the times. It is. It is. And covers it easily. All right. All right, Samantha Mason up. Samantha's a uh, senior at Southfield A&T A &T High School. She had, she had her uh, homecoming, I think. So she's pretty involved in school as well. Nice ball. Good shot. Good shot. She's going to charge this team up. You bet she will. <laughs> her, her mother, Rose Mason, is a member of the Metro Detroit USBC Board of Directors. She's also a youth coach here at Thunder Bowl, so we really appreciate her. And her husband, Johnny Mason, Tom Stopson, Dotson. They're all coaches here. We really appreciate them. Chris Strzalski. Uh, oh, yeah. A little light fluff there. Nice ball. Nice ball. Oh. Now, we, now we got Aiden Mason coming up, which is uh, Samantha's brother. He's got an interesting approach. He was a one-handed bowler forever, and then maybe about a year and a half ago, I think, if I have that timing right, he decided to be a two-handed bowler. He's young. He's only in seventh grade, so he's got a long bowling. I mean, he's got a high average of one seven. He does. He's a great bowler. Oh. Thunderbolt forges out to a 10-pin lead with that double. The Mason kids. Yeah, come they to brought it. that double. I know they're excited. All right, we got Molly Crouch now. Goes to South Lyon High School. Her favorite subject is psychology. I don't know whether I want to talk to her or not. Let's hope she has a little bit of psychology for bowling. She's also their uh, team captain, Mark. Okay. She's got a nice approach. Oh. Crosses over, leaves the 10 pin. Could have been worse with that crossover, though. It could have. Could have been better, too. So not... Uh, not always the easiest leave under pressure, the 10 pin, but should be an easy uh, cover for her. I would agree. She's got a high average of 185. Yes. Nice. Maybe she can teach me how to make a 10 pin. The 10 pin is your friend. It is. <laughs> Bryce Cateray. Bryce is a pretty seasoned bowler. He bowls in a lot of co competitive uh, youth tournaments. We'll see how he covers the lane here. High average of 205. That's three in a row for the Thunderbolt Lanes team. He's on the Cabrini High School team as well. Very good. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Thunderbolt Lane's got a 20-pin lead now going into the fifth frame. Puts the pressure on before we switch lanes a little bit. It does. We can always see a little bit of a different play once we switch lanes. So. I mean, every shot that Woodland Lanes has made has been a really good shot. It has been. Four pin and a ten pin, both converted. Mm -hmm. Thunderbolt had the eight pins in the first. Nick Brown now for the Woodland Lanes team. Ooh. Nice shot. He's a solid ten pin. Nick's been bowling pretty much all his life, 15 years. That's very good. High He's average a senior. 202. Mm -hmm. So this is what I like. His favorite subject in school is construction tech. I like that as well. That's a, that'd be a great career. Great career. People don't always realize it. Beautiful. Good cover, Nick. Beautiful. Le'Veon Greenway now, the anchor bowler for the Thunderbolt Lanes team, working on three strikes in a row they are. He goes to Trillium Academy which is here in the Down River area. Ooh. Oh, well. Threw a lot of pins around and the nine pin decided to stay there. Shook him up though. Absolutely. Should be an easy cover for him. He's a good bowler, he has a high average of 211. He's only in 10th grade, so he's got a little bit of bowling ahead of him through his high school years. Absolutely. He likes to play basketball as well. He's a pretty good basketball player, I happen to know. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Cover that. So here we are at the break. We've got a great match going. Your Thunderbolt Lanes team's got a 20 pin lead. I don't want to, you know, keep my fingers crossed for the home team, but nice to see uh, a good match. You know, as opposed to last week's match, it was a good match. It was a darn good match, competitive match. Wasn't very high scoring. No. This one here is very high scoring. There hasn't been a split or an open frame yet. And so, uh, We'll but see what happens when the uh, when things come back. Last week they started off a little rough at the beginning of the game, so they that did. kept things in check. The double helped Thunderbolt a lot. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll be back after these messages. MDUSBC Association Manager is going to talk to Renee Hall about her team and what they need to do to get back in this match on Bowling Show. one 800 lawyers is Michigan's premier auto injury law firm. They have helped thousands of people and won millions of dollars for clients, period. The attorneys at one 800 lawyers are in it to win it. Call the law office of Zamler, Schiffman, and Carfus. All right, here we are back on Bowling Showcase. You challenge the second match of the first round. Got a great match between Thunderbolt and sure. going on. Thunderbolt's got a 20 pin lead, but we're gonna kick this to Phil Goodman, gonna talk to Renee Hall, the coach of the Woodland team, about their plans to come back in this match. Coach Hall, both teams are bowling extremely well. You're just a little bit behind right now, but Woodland is experienced. Yes, and you, we, okay. I'm sorry. Yes, we are very experienced, but the third time here, I've only got a couple new ones and they are bowling really well. So as a coach with three years experience here, what exactly are you telling them? Have fun, enjoy, breathe, and relax. I think that's the road to success. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I'm very proud of all of them. You should be. Thank you. So very cool. We're back to Mark and Vicki. Thank you, Phil. So Coach Hall, breathe, relax, and enjoy. Have fun. And have fun. Mm -hmm. so what more, what better message any coach could give a kid whether it's bowling showcase youth challenge or the saturday morning youth league absolutely that's the best part about youth bowling is i always say have a good time while you're here absolutely yep. so thunderbolt now is on the left lane courtney downham's up back in the first frame she um left the one three and easily converted it she did Let's see how they play this uh, new lane that they're on. And she's our backup bowler. Crosses over, but carries it. They're pumped up over there. Yes, they are. 
You know, that cheer both teams made at the beginning. I think they did something for them. I, I absolutely yeah. agree. Matty Gazzarini. A little light leaves the two, four, five. Interesting, even last week we had a team with a couple of females. Yes. These, both these teams have a couple of female bowlers. I like to see that. Yep, I agree. Maddie, high average 194, 11th grader at Novi High School. And covers that 245 easily. She's in the marching band too, so that keeps her pretty busy. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's important, as we all know, that young people stay involved. It's when they don't, when they're not involved, that things start going. Lose sideways. some interest. Yeah. 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 Samantha Mason now up on that left-hand lane for the Samantha. Thunderbolt Lanes team. Samantha's a uh, Thunderbolt's team captain. Oh yeah. Groves a Beautiful. Strike. Double for Thunderbolt Lane's team. Increases their lead to 33 pins. They're pretty excited over there. Yes, they are, <laughs> and rightfully so. Doug McLeod now up for the Woodland Lane's team. High game of 288. Yeah, nice. He likes math as um, one of his favorite subjects. We've seen that a couple of times today. Hey, he's my kind of guy. I won't jump into that one. Okay. <laughs> Comes up a little high and leaves the high. three six. Left a very makeable spare though. Without a doubt. He's a senior as well. We've got several seniors today. He's been bowling for thirteen years. Yeah, most of his life. Oh, oh. kind of saw that off his hand a little yeah. bit, that he wasn't really using the whole lane. Could happen. Well, it's tough to get to a new lane, don't have a chance to practice on it, and just got to bring it. Yeah, well, they had a the chance before. So yeah, they been just got to bring notes. it. Yep. Yep. yep, yep, Aiden Mason now up on lane 14 for the host Thunderbolt Lanes team. Aiden had a strike to uh, help the team with their first double that first half, so let's see what happens here. Oh, beautiful. Great strike. What is Thunderbolt Lane's team is just kicking it. Well, sorry, I'm beaming. Well, you should be. You should be. Actually, I know a lot of the kids that are bowling today and in last week's show as well because I've seen them since they've been little. I'm old enough to say that. <laughs> Chris Drozowski now up on lane 15 for Woodland. Oh, lefty leaves a seven pin. He was captain of his high school bowling team. He seems pretty proud of that. He's majoring in mechanical engineering. He'll be going to Eastern Michigan. Very nice. Very nice. Good to see the kids traveling on. I'm sure he's got plenty of scholarship dollars that he's earned through bowling. That's what I was thinking. Oh. oh. All right, all right. Well, Woodland's going to have a little bit of uh, work to do. Yes, they are. Jaden Daniels is filling in here. Yep. On Bryce's spot. Bryce bowled the first five frames. But Jaden Daniels is subbing in. They're giving a chance for everybody to bowl, looks like. Jaden was kind of cheering the team on, so he's a good bowler. Crosses over and makes right. the 5 9. Now they have the right to do that during uh, the competition where they can rotate someone in. As long as they have one female in the lineup at all times. Should be an easy cover for Jaden. Thunderbolt Lanes has this, this match well in hand. Jane's just a junior, so he's got a lot of good bowling ahead of him as well. He does. Oh, yeah. He seems excited he was able to help the team. <laughs> Absolutely.
Okay, so the uh, okay the second shot for the Jaden Daniels was a foul. I think they're just letting the team know that now. Yep, letting the team know that. So that was our line judge. Yep, as Mark we have in bowling as well. Mark Hurtcomb. They're passing that on to the Thunder Bowl uh, coaches. They still have the game well in hand, though. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it won't take any, away anything from their enthusiasm. I agree. Got a little bit of conversation going on about the foul. Yep. Kind of like the manager in baseball coming out, trying to check out what happened. Yep. Hopefully nobody's going to be screaming at the umpire. That's right. I agree. <laughs> okay, we got Molly Crouch now and, uh, after this little short break in the action while that uh, foul was assessed. Well, she placed uh, top 10 in individual regionals for high school. You know, for our viewers that aren't familiar with high school bowling, that's a pretty big feat. Yep. Thousands of kids. <laughs> Comes a little high, leaves yep. a six ten. She's got a really nice approach, Mark. You know, we talked about the female bowlers and what the PWBA has done for that. I think, and um, Thunder Bowl will be hosting the PWBA National fi Tour Finals in, in August of oh, 2024. Very nice. So that's great for the female bowlers to look forward to. Look like she followed through on that as much as she usually does. Le'Veon Greenway up now for the Thunderbolt Lanes team on lane 14. Comes high, mm -hmm. leaves the 2 4 6 10 split. Looked like for him, he might have thrown that ball just a little bit hard. Didn't have a chance to roll quite as much, but with him being a two handed bowler, he does have a chance to pick this up. Hopefully, get at least two. All right. Uh, he gets two. That gives the Thunderbolt Lanes team a final score of 211. Nice game. Very nice game. Best game so far in this competition. Looks like we've got Jeremy Rawls up for the Woodland Lanes team on lane 15. Oh, nice ball. Drops out the 10 pin. Looks like Woodland opted to put their um, six man in as well yep. for this final turn. Nice, give all the kids a chance to bowl. Yeah, Jeremy's a senior at Detroit Edison mm -hmm. Public School Academy. He's been bowling most of his life too, about 13 years. He has a high average of 194, so great bowler. Looks like he was seasoned enough to get that strike going, didn't look nervous. And he switched a two-handed delivery in at, at the age of 12. Mm. Nice ball. It's the 4 8. You know, if you think about when two handed bowling really got a spotlight on it, it was really about 10 or so years ago where more people um, were bowling. That's PW, PWBA and PBA bowlers that obviously are pretty good. <laughs> well, it all, all stems back to Jason Delmont. Exactly. He's had a lot of success in this room. Yes. <laughs> So the final score in this match, Thunderbolt Lanes team 211, Woodland Lanes 160. Mm -hmm. They struggled a little bit, spares. It's a great match, but we'll see what happens. It's a good match. Both teams had very, very good bowlers. They stayed in it. They were really clapping for each other, and yeah. Okay, we're gonna cut to a break. When we come back from that break, I'll be interviewing Coach Tom Dotson of the Thunderbolt Lanes team right here on Bowling Showcase. The Michigan State USBC provides tournament competition and recognition for men, women, and youth bowlers in Michigan. Tournaments include Open Women's and Youth Championships. Also, Youth Masters, Queens, Masters, and Senior Masters. Recognition includes first-time 300 games and 800 series for all members and 600 and 700 club memberships for women. 
Visit michiganstateusbc.com for entry blanks and more information on the Michigan State USBC. Welcome back to Bowling Showcase. Our second match of the first round is in the books. Thunderbolt Lanes 211, Woodland Lanes 160. We're going to talk to Coach Rose Mason about that Thunderbolt Lanes team, what a powerhouse they are. So, Rose, your two children, yes. Samantha and Aiden, yes. didn't did not strike. <laughs> I mean, he struck. Yeah. So what what do you got to say for that? I am so proud of them. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm surprised, um, but not surprised because it's Aiden's first time. It's Samantha's maybe third time. Yeah, it's her third time, and she's a senior, so it's her last year. So I, you know, I just wanted her to have a good time. Hey, what about the rest of the team? Oh my God, I'm so proud of them. It's um, most of them is their first time coming, and they were, you know, all handpicked from being supportive of the program and of Thunderbolt. So we are so happy to have them. Uh, we're glad to be in the showcase as a program for the first time this year. So to just make it out of the first round is just amazing for us. Very good. Well, congratulations on making it out of that first round. And we'll see you in the semifinals. Yes, thank you. All right, you're welcome. So your Thunderbolt Lanes team. Pretty excited for them. Absolutely. Coach Mason, pretty excited. All of the people on the team, the kids are all very supportive of Thunderbolt. Bull here a lot. So... Very nice to see them ball. Okay, up next week, we have last year's champion, Century Bowl, mm. bowling against Plum Hollow Lane. Should be a very exciting match, and we'll check it out next week on Bowling Showcase. Promotional consideration paid for by the following.